How are we doing? It's been a while since I've done a video, but here I am, back again, Tomo's Tech. Just taken uh, a few weeks off, uh, just because I wanted to, quite simply. It's good to have a break every so often. But today, we are looking at a very blokey thing. A blokey thing for a bloke in their 40s, just like me. So we are looking at the Kosori 12 litre air fryer oven. Now, I will admit I have been provided this for the purposes of a review, but no money has changed hands. I can say what I like about it. So you are going to get a very honest review from me, a person who quite evidently likes food. So we'll just have a look around the box. It says, crispy yet health conscious results. Enjoy delicious meals with up to 85% less oil than traditionally fried foods. Very healthy. Very nice. Clean up that's as easy as the prep. With stainless steel housing and dishwasher safe accessories, clean up is just as easy as cooking. With me being from Yorkshire, I do like stainless steel. Don't know whether or not this has come from Sheffield, the stainless steel that's in use, but the original idea did, so that's good. Perfectly compact but powerful. 1800 watts of heating is packed into a slim profile that won't clutter your countertop. So we've got some specifications in there. I will talk you through those a bit later on in the video. But for now, I think we should get it unboxed. So, got a knife here. Make sure you take care if you are going to repeat the same process. Safety first. Which is why I'm using a kitchen knife. Keep the uh, kitchen theme going throughout this video. Oof, there we go. We're in. It's a big old box, is this? Just gonna pop that there. I have to remember it's there so I don't hurt myself on it. Oof. So we've got UK plug. That's a great start. Quite an obvious start as well. Gonna throw these bits of packaging out of shot. Whoa. It's a big one. Oof. See what else you got in here. So, got some sort of tray here, which I will explain in a moment. Some sort of, uh, looks like it's uh, to hold a tray or pick it up. And then some more packaging. And then we've got, ooh, this is nice. So a little Kasori, uh, well, I suppose you'd call it a folder. So we'll open that up and see what's in it. So lots of goodies. Let's just get rid of the box. Oh, very nice. I like that packaging. That'll keep anything uh, nice and neat and I'll file it away. So we've got 12 litre air fry oven recipes in here. So we've got, oh, it's divided up into many, many categories. I'm not going to go into Every bit of detail here, but we've got stuff for breakfast, appetizer and snacks, mains, dual layer main and side, sides. Oh, some really good stuff here. It's like zesty broccolini, tangy smashed Brussels sprouts with bacon, perfect French fries. And then, of course, got desserts at the end. English scones with strawberries and cream, gluten-free pumpkin spice cupcakes, double chocolate brownies, chocolate chip cookies. So each one, we've got an image of the, the final product. We've got, literally got exact instructions of what ingredients we need, how to do the prep, and then how to use the air fryer itself. Look at them, bean and cheese, taquitos. Oof, lovely stuff. Then we've got a user manual. So just looking at some of the specs in here. So we've got... A, we know it's 1800 watts, I've already touched on that. It's 12 litres approximately, and it will fit in an 8 inch pizza. So it is pretty much like an oven. Uh, temperature range is between 30 and 220 degrees Celsius, or 90 to 430 Fahrenheit. The time range we can put on there is between 0 and 12 hours. I don't know why you'd be cooking for 12 hours, but whatever it is, it'd definitely be cooked at the end. Uh, we've got some safety points in there, 
and then we've got some uh, some instructions what the uh, what the LED display tells us. But I'm gonna gonna show you that anyway. Got a shortcut sheet here. So there's different settings. So for example, toast. Then we can uh, choose the darkness level of the toast, and then we can uh, start things going. Oh, we've got a few tips from the chef, get more crisp, add some oil, cleaning the drip tray. Uh, so accumulated grease and crumbs can overheat and catch fire, so it's really important that you do clean stuff. Dual layer cooking, got a food tray and then the air fryer tray, so you can get multiple items in there at once. And it tells you to always use the mitts, keep the door closed and how to use the rotisserie basket. So really quite handy actually. Does have a link to our website, kasori.com forward slash recipes for their recipe gallery. Very nice. And then there's some email addresses there to, uh, to help you. And we've got uh, join the Kasori family. It's got Facebook groups. Nice. Uh, I was just a cat in the background there, just making a noise. Purchase comes with a two year warranty. That's really, really nice. And you can reach out to them with the email address provided and within the warranty period you can get speedy product replacements so that's good and other social media there including YouTube one of the best sites there is I may be biased so we'll get everything unwrapped first I'll move all of this out of the way and then we'll get to the exciting bit where we actually cook some food so a little jump cut there while I unpackage everything so I'm going to do that, I'm going to speed it up for you guys because you don't really want to watch me do this very slowly. But I will show you each item as it comes out and I will abandon the packaging off camera. Drip tray. Then we get to open the main unit here. Beautifully packaged in this stuff. I don't know what this is, this like soft thing. You get TVs in this. I think there is probably a name for it but I don't know what it is. So if you, if you do, let me know down below in the comments. Oh, this is looking good. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> That's a solid beast, isn't it? So there's a bit of tape around there. Need to undo that before it'll open. Oh, it goes from that way. Let's do, yeah, there we go. A few safety guides on the, on the front of here. So it says, before you get started, there's plastic inside. Before plugging it in, take out the accessories and remove all plastic. So I will be doing that, and that just peels off. Ooh, that was nice. And then there's a little bit on the top. So whether or not we actually need to, uh, to remove this, I don't know. Uh, but it just says, got questions or concerns, the email address there. And it says, place the drip tray inside with the handle facing out. And this is caution hot, it is a metal unit, you don't want to be touching it, you just want to be opening it up like that. Uh, and it says not to fill with oil because it's not a deep fat fryer. Might be obvious to us in titans of intelligence who are watching this video, but we still need to know that. I am going to peel this off. Not quite as satisfying as the other one, but it's coming off nonetheless. Marvellous. So then we open her up and we've got, I thought that was an envelope, but it's not, it's just a sheet of paper. What's next? Oh, this looks interesting. What's this thing then? Ah, right, okay. So I think I know what this is. So what you do with this, if I am correct, which I believe I am, because I have read a bit about this before I started recording this. This is the chip basket, which spins around on the rotisserie. So what you end up getting is beautifully, evenly cooked chips. So it just opens up there with a little handle, and then inside it looks like we've got the, the bits for the chicken rotisserie. So you fill that with up to 900 grams of chips 
and then you close it down and then you put this in and it spins. So we will be looking at that in just a moment. Has it been round? Is it going to roll off? No, it's not. So this bit that came inside there, we have got two little hand screws attached to this. This must be for doing a rotisserie chicken in there. Oh yes. So he's very spiky. And these will be to stab into the chicken. So I don't know if these hand screws are spare because there's already some in each one. So they must be to get it on inside somehow, but I will take a look at that in more detail. Just to do the plug. There's more. <laughs> I love this, it's like a little oven. I mean, I know it is a little oven, but you know what I mean. So then we've got two trays here. The fry frying. Now, I believe you can put them both in there and the trip tray. Trip, trip, drip tray in the bottom. So all your, gra your grease and your fat will drop down through your air frying tray. So you've got a much healthier meal. It's good news for a big lad like me. And then we've got some sort of rotisserie spindle by the looks of things. And the drip tray, not the trip tray. That goes in the bottom. And it looks like now we've got all of the plastic out of there. So I'm just gonna get the camera and we're going to take a look all the way around it and at the inside before we start actually cooking. Here it is, the beast. So we've got a display up here, up the top, and then we've got the, uh, the door there. And it is just like a lovely little oven. Can you see at the back there where all of the, uh, the hot air is going to blow through? And then on the roof there, so that's a heating element with a fan, which is makes it an air fryer because it's going to be using hot air to cook so we'll look at that display in a little bit to show you the little thumb screws there they are and that's some kind of rotisserie thing for the chicken to hold it on drip tray there and then just have a look here bit of information pause it if you want to read that but just remember it gets hot around the back not much going on but we've got looks like where it pulls in air to make it nice and efficient to blow through the fan onto the heating element. And then we've just got the plug there. And then around here, we've got a cooking tray. We're gonna make buns, we'll put it on there. Got this for taking stuff out that's hot. And then we've got the uh, magical chip basket. And then the two air frying trays so we've got a lot of good stuff with that let's just have a quick look at the box again so there we go a little bit of clarity there for you so that's the way the rotisserie fork set works and this is actually the rotisserie handle i did not realize that but that is exactly why i'm showing you the box so kosori is part of the aravast corporation which is an american company and it's made in china it does meet all of these standards, which if you know what you're looking for, you will probably understand those. And then we've got just an array of things that'll do. So can proof stuff, warm stuff, bake stuff, can use it as a rotisserie, can cook pizza in there, can dehydrate, we can reheat, we can roast, we can air fry, we can toast, and we can broil. Me being a man in my 40s, I'm going to be looking at mostly that maybe doing a bit of steak there, doing full chickens on the rotisserie, and of course, my favourite, pizza. And there we go, a little bit more info there with the dual heating elements, 11 functions. It's actually got a top and a bottom heating element, so you're going to get your food cooked 
nicely all the way around, right through the middle so it's not raw. And you can see there the lovely chip basket in action. And full specs there, if you want to read them and just confirm everything that's on the package contents I've got, including the oven itself, which you would expect. Lovely, let's power it on. We are powered on, so a little orange light there, so it's off, nice and cool at the moment. Switch it on. Oh, it's, there's not actual buttons there, you just hover above it. Nice, tells you when it's open. So we've got different settings here. We've got, I'll start from the top here. So we've got the rotisserie button there. So that's to switch the rotisserie function on or off. Then we've got here, I'm not sure yet, I'll work that out in a minute. And we can switch the light off and on. We can start it or pause it. Then we've got air fry, roast, broil, bake, pizza, toast, reheat, warm, dry, or proof. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cook a rotisserie chicken because I absolutely love chicken. But one thing I haven't done is put the drip tray in. So we'll do that first. Cooking trays in there because I thought that was a drip tray. But this is why you're watching my video. So this is a drip tray. And the handle bit, there's a little notch out there. So we'll put that right in the bottom, underneath those heating elements. So there's two bottom heating elements. It goes under there. So we're gonna preheat this oven on roast. And well, I'm just gonna pop it on for five minutes. And then when I've got my chicken, I wanna do that for 55 minutes. Let's get the light on in there. I can't see what's going off there. There we go. Preheating's going on. Now I've just realized something here. It preheats anyway, uh, but I'm gonna put the chicken in when it has preheated. It's quite noisy, I'll be honest with you, but that's not the end of the world. A kitchen is a noisy place. After a few minutes, it'll tell you to add your food. So what I'm gonna do is cook a nice rotisserie chicken here that we have trussed, which means to tie it up so its legs don't go all over the place. Uh, we're going to cook this 55 minutes at 190 degrees and then hopefully we're going to have a nice chicken. So all I've done with this chicken is put a bit of a rub on there. So it's uh, garlic, herbs, butter and uh, my girlfriend did it, not me, uh, because I'm not that good. So all we do, we just put it in on the right hand side first into the rotisserie section and then drop it in at the other side. and. Then, shut the fryer, and put the light on so we can see, and then we switch the rotisserie setting on, and away we go. Chicken is cooking. See you in 55 minutes. So we've now got 37 minutes left of the cooking, so we'll switch the light on and take a look. Oh, look at that. Tasty chicken. You can see a lot of the, uh, the fat is coming out of the chicken there and going onto the drip tray. So that's, uh, that's good, nice and healthy. You can see it's cooking rather quite well in here. So I'm looking forward to this. Just 12 minutes left till this gorgeous succulent chicken comes out ready to eat. While that's still cooking, I'm just gonna talk you through a few bits. So, hot air, or rather air, goes in through the sides and then it gets blasted around the, uh, the air, fry air fryer and then the hot air comes out the back here, so it's nice and warm. So you'll actually, in cold weather, it'll uh, heat your house up a little bit, so the heat isn't just wasted. So I quite like that. So we're down to the last 30 seconds of cooking. The light has magically gone on, ready for it to finish. Oh, chicken lovers, look at that. That looks fantastic. End, there we go. So it's switched off and the rotisserie's just settled down. So I'm gonna get it out. So whip the oven open. Oh, there's a lot of heat coming out there. As you can see, it's all bubbling up down there. So we'll get the handle and pull the chicken out. Whoa. That's looking good, is that? Delicious.
Just going to jump cut now to the tasty finished meal. Oh, look at that. Half a chicken and some salad. Now that is a nice meal. Let's do the taste test. So here we go, the taste test. So do I go leg, breast or wing? I'm a bit more of a breast man, so let's try a bit of that. Oh, it's really succulent, is that? Nice, juicy chicken. Mmm. Down the hatch. That's good, is that? So after that tasty meal, we're gonna try another one. It is not the same day. Well, I am wearing the same clothes for continued. It's not the same day, but I am wearing the same clothes to try and give you a bit of continuity. So what we're gonna to do today, we're actually gonna do sausage and chips. It's now heated up, ready for the food. So we're gonna be cooking some Lincolnshire sausages, eight of them. Uh, unfortunately, they're not Yorkshire sausages, because they don't exist. So I'll just put them in the middle. Shelf number two, I'll put them in. Oh, that's close to the top, actually. Maybe I'll knock it down. No, well. I'll put them close to the heat up at the top. Now here we go. So while they're cooking, what I'm gonna do is fill this bad boy with chips. So after 10 minutes, the sausages aren't quite done, but they are looking quite nice. So what you'll notice here is I actually put the cooking tray underneath. Um, so you need to do that really if you're cooking very greasy food because you don't really wanna get grease on the heating element under there. So I'm going to give these another five minutes after I've ruggled them about a little bit and uh, we'll see how they turn out. So that's the sausages done. So 15 minutes in total. Uh, so what I'm going to do, normally what you could do is cook chips on one of the other air frying trays at the same time. But I want to try the rotisserie basket. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my sausages on here and I'm going to wrap them up in foil. Just to keep them warm. Woo! They really are hot then. So I'll just move those out of the way. And next, we're going to put the chips in. So we're going to put these on the rotisserie. So this barrel, this uh, basket rather, just clips in like so once it's full. And then, like with the rotisserie chicken, you just use this to feed it in. So what I'll do, I'll just preheat it again. First things first, I'm going to take that other tray out, aren't I? Uh, that I added. So I'll just do that now and take that out of the way. So we're ready for chips now. So switch it on. I'm going to air fry again. I think 15 minutes on these at 200 degrees. So I'll just close it, change it to 200 degrees, knock it down to 15 minutes, and then we'll preheat. Here we go again, it's ready to add food, so we'll just open the door, pop the chips in, light goes on for us, very helpful. So the right hand side goes in first, and then the left just goes on the bracket, and then off we go. Just as these chips almost reach their destination, in their last two minutes, I just want to highlight the transparent window on the front. I mean, I have already covered this a bit in my video, but just pushing the light button, and then looking in, you can see how your food's doing. So if you really wanted to just add another minute, uh, for example, I think those chips probably need one more minute, so I'll do. Go up there, add a minute on, and that's done. So just on the on the front of the uh, the air fryer, it just it's got like a brushed effect around most of it. It's really quite decent looking. Some of the some of the food stains are showing on at the moment, but that they'll come off. That's just me being a bit messy. Um, so obviously you have to clean it like you do any uh, food cooking device. Uh, but it's so small and it does things that air fryers of other brands don't do, such as rotisserie chickens, as already demonstrated, and also a chip basket like that that evenly cooks the chips all over. So I think next I'm going to give it a real challenge. I'm going to try a pizza, I think. Those chips are now done as I want them to, so I'm just going to open up the oven using my catering oven towel thing, whatever it's called, and then we just use this to lift out the chip basket and it just pops out like that. Close the oven. Then what we're going to do is just get a second towel so that we can open it up. So hold it at one end, pop it open the other. And then we've got a nice, lovely 
basket of chips, which I can then put on a plate. All done. Four lovely sausages there, Lincolnshire, not Yorkshire, because Yorkshire sausages don't exist. Beautifully done chips and some beans that I did just bang in the microwave. Um, but you can technically cook them in there, but I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this video at this stage. So I'll try one of the chips. Mmm. Try one of the sausages. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Mmm. Really good. So what I'm going to do now is hopefully something that will really, really, uh, well, be something that air fryers don't normally do. So I'm actually going to cook two pizzas in this at the same time. Now these are just your budget sort of pizzas you get from Aldi, that kind of thing, uh, for a quid. I will just pimp them up. So I've got chicken on there. That's some of the chicken off the rotisserie from the other day. Save some, put it in the fridge, and then uh, can use it now. I've got some peppers on there and some garlic butter. So usual drill, switch it on. Pizza setting, 175 degrees, 10 minutes. And there we go, it's just gonna preheat. Right, so the oven's preheated, or the air fryer, whichever we call it. I'm not too so sure, we can call it either or, can't we really? We'll put one pizza in there, and then we'll put the other one above that. And 10 minutes, we should have two beautiful pizzas. They're cooking nicely now. So we're just into the last 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do is just have a look through the clear window and just take a look at the pizzas. Now that don't quite look like it's done to my specification. So all I'm going to do is just add another couple of minutes on there. So we're going to do it for four minutes. What I actually did, because I'm doing two pizzas, I swapped them over at the five minute mark. Uh, if you're doing one pizza, probably that 10 minutes at 175 will be okay, but as I'm doing two, need a little bit longer and they need swapping around a little bit. Down into the last 30 seconds now, so we'll just have a look through the window. Oh, delicious, cheese is bubbling nicely. There, look. Fantastic. Oh, can't wait to get them out and eat them. Although I am gonna only eat one of them. That looks decent, that. Look at that. Absolutely glorious. Cannot wait to tuck into this pizza. Here we go. Third time recipe. Down the hatch it goes. Mmm. Perfect. So there we have it. The Kasori 12 in 1 air fryer. I really like this. It's really, really good. So I've had air fryers before, normally the ones with the trays where, well, you can't do a rotisserie chicken, you can cook chicken in them, but with this one, get it cooked evenly all the way around. Same with the chips, put it in the uh, chip basket, get it spinning on the rotisserie setting, and then you've got perfectly cooked chips. I love the fact that you can switch the light on and you can look through the front window, nice and clear, and it's so configurable. You can have, well, there's loads of combinations of things you can put in it. I love the fact that you can have two trays of air fry. So if you're doing something at 200 degrees in here, or 220 if you're going full whack, that's taking 1800 watts. And if you've got two trays of food in there, that's gonna save you a heck of a lot of energy. Um, downsides, not many really. Um, it does preheat, which sometimes takes a couple of minutes if it's getting up to a high temperature. But at the end of the day, uh, if you don't preheat it, then your food's not going to cook properly, so it's in your interest to preheat the oven, get it nice and warm, and then put the food in when it asks you to do it. So at the moment, configuration in my kitchen, I've got a gas oven with hobs, and I've also got two little air fryers, the, the tray ones. So the air fryers are going to go. I'm only really going to use my gas oven now if I'm cooking something really, really big, like for example a turkey at Christmas. But this thing, absolutely spot on. If you're interested in buying one please do use the links below and uh, if you've got one let me know in the comments what you think and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching